It's gonna be really fun. This should be good. It should be kind of fun. Let's see how it goes. Oh God, Bob. Not so handy. Oh Jesus. Not so handy dandy. Oh, hey, LA people, what's going on? Um, some of you might remember this 06 Grand Cherokee. It's my girlfriend's father's car. It's not in the best condition. Currently has 210,000 miles on it. Still trucking along. Um, it overheats, it's falling apart, but it's still going. I doubt this car has ever had its engine carbon cleaned, but today we're gonna try injecting it with some sea foam and see what comes out the exhaust after. This is exciting. Did it on my car once. I know the two eater has some carbon deposit issues. So a lot came out of my car. This is a huge, unbelievable cloud of smoke. I'm expecting some stuff coming out of the, the Grand Cherokee though. Okay, one of my saving graces right now during this quarantine time is getting out and driving my car. Oh, uh, because it allows you to metaphorically stretch your legs. Actually, I'm kind of stretching my left leg, you know, pushing the clutch. You're social distancing still. I have the quarantine blues currently. It makes it slightly less blue when I jump in a car with you. <laughs> Where'd you steal that from? My heart. And cars can't catch coronavirus, so that is Fantastic. That's a lot of alliteration there. Blah, 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 blah. My mom made us these nice masks, which is cool. We are looking for sea foam. It's not that one. Not the motor treatment. It's not that one. Ooh, ah, this is it. Okay. It's the top engine cleaner and lube. 14 bucks. In my opinion, well worth it. Works huh? pretty. Huh? <laughs> All right, uh, I actually got two bottles of sea foam because I'm gonna do her mother's car at the same time. It's gonna be really fun. Yeah. Both the Camry and the Grand Cherokee. There's not too much that's really grand about it, but. Apparently your subscribers think so. Oh yeah, I really pissed off the Jeep fanboys in that video. Okay, here we go. This should be good. Key fob has also seen better days. 210,608 miles. God bless this vehicle. What we gotta do, we gotta get up to operating temperature because when we spray the sea foam into the intake, the heat helps the sea foam absorb into all the carbon and stuff like that. So I'm gonna let this run for just a couple minutes. Plastic. Hey, what a pretty girl. So there's a couple other brands of carbon cleaners out there, but sea foam is actually really cool because they include this straw right here, which has kind of this loopy thing to stick it in between the boot of one of these hoses and the plastic makes so that this straw doesn't get crushed. And I've always had good luck with sea foam, so let's see how this goes, huh? So after a few minutes of waiting, we're pretty much up to operating temperature. <clears throat> as far as placement for the straw goes, the same principle applies for any engine you're doing this for. You wanna get as close to the throttle body as possible. The boot on the throttle body here is a little too difficult to get off without taking this assembly off the top of the motor. So we're just gonna see if our little straw can breach this gap between the intake here and the throttle body here. That should be about, yeah, we'll see. And while I'm here, I am just going to spray a little bit of this mass airflow sensor cleaner because this thing is grimy, oh my gosh. So what we're gonna do, Bob, you're gonna start her up and you're gonna hold the RPM at around 2000, roughly seven minutes to empty the bottle of sea foam, And then you have to let it heat soak for just a little bit. It should be kind of fun. We'll see how it goes. Yep. making kind of a weird sound. There's already a little bit of smoke coming out. So we know it's entering the system. That's good. Ooh, my hand hurts. It's hard to hold something down for seven minutes. Oh, it's starting to overheat. Yeah, you can shut it off. Whoo. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. That's not good, Bob.
I, I gotta get my GoPro out of here. It's like a. Woo! Did that? Did the temperature just climb all of a sudden, or was it just going up gradually throughout the whole thing? Transmission over temp. Plus the engine. I'm sorry. Oh God, Bob. Not so handy. Oh Jesus. Not so handy dandy. I think it's running great now. I'm gonna get my face away from this. I, there were literally no signs of this while I was. Settling down a little bit. Oh, I feel so bad. Shout out to the real MVPs, Samantha's parents, who let me practice mechanics on their vehicles. So currently two cars out of commission in the driveway. Samantha's Camry, Grand Cherokee. I think it cooled down a little bit. Yeah. You want spaghetti? Absolutely. Spaghetti and meatballs. Oh. That smells bad. It's definitely had time to uh, cool down. Jesus. All right, I just, I gotta start it and get the, um, the sea foam out of the system. I won't drive it for very long, just up and down the street. Okay, let's see if she starts. Please start. Yes. see much come out the back but that's because we just stopped short so now we're going to try and redeem what happened yesterday and carbon clean this camry right here which has i guess like 175,000 miles on it it's going to do something uh we've decided to sell the grand cherokee as is um 13 grand guys take it or leave it so we're gonna do the same thing as yesterday, but without overheating the engine. I have a new can of sea foam, and we're gonna spray it closer to the throttle bodies if we can get it. This engine's already warm. Bob just got home, he was driving this today. Let me get some help. On the Camry, the throttle body's actually a lot easier to access. Check this out. Shaboom, right there. Okay, I forgot that it actually needs suction. That's why they include the yeah, little plastic loopy bit. So you can keep that suction. I'm stupid of me. Then again, everything is stupid of me. Hold on. So this is how the straw is gonna go. Like that. It's close to the throttle body, but not touching it. Right where we want it. Put this boot back on. Pretty cool, right? Samantha, you can go ahead and start it. And set my timer for eight minutes. been about eight minutes. All righty, we're good. You saw the smoke coming out? Yeah, that's a good thing, right? And yeah, it just means this stuff's getting in the system, so. Alrighty, we just finished emptying the seafoam can into the Toyota. Now we just gotta let it hot soak, let this stuff absorb into all the carbon deposits for about 10 minutes. Then we're gonna come back out and go for a drive. All right, buddy, you wanna see how this goes? We'll go for a quick ride first. When I do start it, the engine's gonna, you know, struggle just a little bit. drive at highway speeds for a few minutes just to get all the stuff out of the system. Not bad, I'd say. Not bad. I feel like it's a little smoother. I know it's better throttle response. It's running nice and smooth. 
Thanks for tuning into this video, and the next video that's coming out is actually the full vlog for Amelia Island 2020. I'm gonna be posting that on Monday around 5 p.m., so definitely check that out when it comes out. Thanks, guys, take care. We have a lot of cars in here.